Welcome to Lexington, Kentucky. Early season action between the Wildcats and the visiting Richmond Spiders from Rupp Arena, part of a mini tournament. Moorhead State is also here. Each of these schools, the Spiders and the Wildcats, want to know, as you can see, a sparse gathering. Several hundred cardboard cutouts and up to 15% capacity. That means as many as 3,000 fans may be here. There aren't that many. Here. And the guy with the ball right now, Jacob Gilliard, he is really a guy to keep an eye on. The Atlantic 10 Conference Defensive Player of the Year. Last loves these guys. He loves their compete level. But on the other hand, again, because they're very young, they've had some ups and downs. That's that guy's not good. It's changed defensively, but there's constant movement. Again, the five guys, the trigger guy, 33 in red. Got inside and the putback play with that has played in a Kentucky uniform right. until this year. That is crazy. Sar drives wow. right around Golden for the slam. State, he's got the first four points here today against Richmond. And now a miss and a run out, and it is Boston slamming it home. Yeah, so he's actually one, got one miss on the season right now. He is 13 for 14 from the field, and Sar is doing some using more of a drop coverage. Concerned about Kentucky's ability to drive the ball off the ball screen action. Bam, bam, and with the spin off of you and get action to the rim. Hard to guard. Good extra pass into the corner. Gustafson gets the three. Door cut. And it was a, a big area of focus during the Kentucky practice yesterday. Wow. Making him take a tough shot. Some tail. And he gives it right back. Good hands by Terrence Clark. Ahead of the pack, Boston. And he fit. 2011, got him to the Sweet 16 in 2011. Golden just bullying his way in, got it back. And tie on with Kentucky. Incredible no, talent. No, no, no. Yeah. No. That's because he made the last one, right? Yeah, this is not AAU ball. Yeah. Is feeling well right now. One of the coaches who tested positive for COVID. Sweet revert to the free throw line 11 more times. They're out shooting them, and it's only a four point game. Oddly enough, 32-28. You need to go under that ball screen handoff action on those uh, Richmond guards. I, I would be their best shooter on the floor right now. Burton baseline. Left hand, yes. Afternoon for Tyler Burton. He is really a talent. And a steal. Burton. Oh, look at this. Failure. Ahead to wow. Francis. What opportunity to take the lead. Burton for three. Got it. Terrence Clark, number 10 on the ESPN 100 of incoming freshmen. Baseline drive and a chance for three. A tremendous. You asked me earlier. Davion Mintz. He's oh. only played five minutes today. And they need his shot. Yeah. Golden with a drive and a soft touch to extend. Now Sar going right at him at the other end with a jump hook. Too strong. Got it back. Staying with it. Can't finish again, but the tip is up. Kentucky has not made a three in this game, and, and Mintz is the guy in the game right now needs to deliver. Boy, nothing fancy about that. Nope. KO just gets, but they just keep doing what they do, right? Yeah, they're really moving that ball. Now the third side of the floor. Francis buries and stays stuck in one spot. If so, that's advantage small guy. Gilliard to KO somehow found him in another. He's got a team high 15 nope. for Kentucky, but he wasn't looking, and guess who picked his pocket in Gilliard? And you're just not going to be able to make Richmond do something they don't want to do. They keep playing their style, possession after possession. And the back. And so they're planning on going up tomorrow night. Long rebound comes down to Gilliard. Is he going to try to go one on one with Askew? Oh, yeah. He will, and he'll finish. Why not? When, when you because they're fighting. And Kentucky is in a fight right now. And they don't realize it. How about that? Behind the back pass for a three for Gr reading the game and letting the game tell him what to do. Francis trying to shake Askew. Gets around him. Scoops it up and in. Ashman coach did that 10 years ago against Purdue. He is on the verge of another one right here. Today. And another steal. Gilliard just sneak. They're about the same age. Remember John Linehan, Providence way back in the day? Uh, absolutely. Yeah. Good call. John Linehan and George Gervin make our broadcast. <laughs> Francis. Yeah. It's a real team. Wow. This, this is a as poorly as they could shoot it, they were still only down four. They played an incredible second half. You, you know college basketball has started when you hear his voice. 
Mintz misses the three. Boston with a follow. Setting down. They got a bunch of seniors. Like, they are playing for something this year. I mean, everybody is. But for Richmond, another march. Remember Richmond and remember St. Louis out of the A-10. Boston misses a corner three. Burton down with a rebound, and that is going to do it. What a nice win for the Richmond Spiders. They come into Lexington, and they beat the youthful Cats 76-64. to A great trip for a few days. They beat Moorhead State a few days ago, but this is going to be a win to remember and a sign for the rest of the Atlantic 10, not that they didn't already know it, that the Spiders are going to be a handful this year.